welcome back welcome back welcome back yes it's monday and we're back in the building i got my colleague with me mr clark we don't know what we're going to say but anything that we do say is going to be a word of encouragement a word of empowerment a word of inspiration a word of upliftment so i'm going to hand it to him morning 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 I don't know what I'm, I didn't know what I'm going to say, but I just thought about. I just thought the message I want to impart on you is to be optimistic. Optimism over pessimism. That's just the most important message I can just give you today on this morning. The weather's changing, the times have changed, the seasons are changing, and with that, we're going to get more sunlight and more hopefully happy days. So we just want to be optimistic in this new season. Remember that throughout your whole day, remember that be optimistic. Look at everything with an eye of everything's going to get better and everything's going to change for the better. Rather than being pessimistic thinking, everything's going to go negative and everything's going to go against you. Optimism is the key to successful thinking and happiness. Optimism. I hand you back. Wow. Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? And there's a saying that um, I, I heard some time ago where there were two sons of an alcoholic father. One of the sons became an alcoholic, the other one didn't. And when you ask them, why, why did you choose it and why didn't you choose it? The one who became an alcoholic said, I drink because my father drank. The one who didn't drink says, I didn't drink because my father drank. So it's about choice. It's about choice. It's about seeing the beauty in the midst of the despair. It's like, it's raining outside, but do you see the beauty amidst the rain? It's about choice. And what are you choosing? What are you allowing access to? What are you giving access to? You hear me always speak about this all the time. What are you allowing to get poured into your ears that is going to transform you either in a positive way or a negative way you have so much power don't give it away i know sometimes we look at our circumstances and we think oh because of this or that i can't do this or i can't do that or i can't do this because of that or that because of this you can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it stay Opti what's it? Stay, optimistic. stay optimistic. Not pessimistic. And not pessimistic. And even if you, okay, because I know that some of you will be like, yeah, but I can't, I can't, I just can't, I don't know how to. You see, life, life never ever asks our permission to interrupt. And and if you go to Millionaire Diana Lewis YouTube, right? Because you should be on my YouTube page by now, subscribing. I, I delivered a lesson. I'll say I, we delivered a lesson on Saturday called Spiritual Decay, right? And Spiritual Decay talks about being spiritually blind, like a spiritual death. You're, you're, you know, your flesh is being eaten away daily because you're allowing stuff to rob you of your peace, of your joy, of your happiness. You're always complaining. You're always looking at the person no, next door. On, sir. What, what joy will you have in life if you're never being optimistic and you're always pessimistic? What type of life will you have? You will have no joy, no happiness. What brings us happiness is being optimistic. If we're always being pessimistic, what's the point of living? We have there's no joy, there's no happiness, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. You're always just seeing darkness. What you need to see as humans is yes, we're going to go through dark times, but there always has to be a light at the end of the tunnel. That's what keeps a smile on the face, and that's what keeps us going. If we're just being pessimistic, it's just a long, dark tunnel. And that is a very, very, very sad and lonely life. Remember, and remember, when you are optimistic, you will impart that energy on people. People around you will also become optimistic. And that Ooh. will increase your circle full of happy, positive energy. Ooh. If you're pessimistic and you give that off, you will also inflict other people pessimism. And that will make your circle, your family, your friends around you so pessimistic. And then you'll be trapped in a bubble of just pure darkness all around you. So be optimistic. You must be optimistic if you want to see the rays of sunshine through. I know it can be difficult. I know it can be hard. I know we're in the cost of living crisis. But if we are not optimistic, we're going to come out the other side. How are we going to be? And I'll, the last thing I'll say is when we had COVID, when it started and everyone started getting ill, 
we thought we would never ever come out of this lockdown, never come out of it. And every day we turn on our TV, everyone around the road was just dropping down dead. Everyone's ill, couldn't work, furloughed. And many people were pessimistic. However, some of us kept optimistic. And you see now, it's ended. Everything that's hardship and struggle always must come to an end at some point. And the goodness and happiness must always come through. But in order for you to see that, you must hold on to being optimistic, please. Wise words spoken from Mr. Clark himself. And while he was saying that, the spirit laid in my heart. Don't see the lemon as just a lemon. Go and make lemonade. Have yourself a great day. See you soon.